at the end of the, the filming of Deep Throat, she came to our father and she cried because she didn't want it to be over. It was the best thing that had happened to her. I mean, of course, you'll be aware of the Linda Lovelace's charges about her role in the film. Um, what did what did you what did your father say about that when when those uh, revelations came out? Sure. Well, you know, our our father had you know an interesting relationship with with Linda Lovelace. She was his muse in Deep Throat. It was after meeting her that he really wrote the script for her. He came up with the name Linda Lovelace, which she adopted. And, you know, in the early days, right after the film, she enjoyed a lot of celebrity um, based on her participation in the film and was known around the world. And um, later it came to light that she, you know, was abused by her husband. Now, you know, she and Chuck were on the set um, they had a certain dynamic that um, that was kind of upfront. It wasn't a hidden thing um, in that they had this kind of, um, they were swingers, but they had this um, dominant submissive relationship that they were very open about. He would order her to do things and she would do it. She was very dutiful and she was, um, you know, quick to jump when he, when he said. Now, after the filming of Deep Throat, on the very last day, she came to our father and, you know, famous, he told us this story over and over, but she even says this in her book, um, that at the end of the, the filming of Deep Throat, she came to our father and she cried because she didn't want it to be over. It was the best thing that had happened to her because she was, you know, later, you know, now we recognize the symptoms, I'd say, but she was in a very abusive relationship. And on the set of Deep Throat, she was the star and she had never been treated with such respect that everything revolved around her and not that she was a diva, but she wasn't accustomed to that. She wasn't expecting that, that everything was about her. And so when it was done, then she took a look at Chuck and thought, okay, now I got to go back with him. And, you know, by all accounts, he was an asshole and he abused her and beat her up and did all kinds of things to her. Um, but Deep Throat was actually a path for her to get away from him because once she started to get the not notoriety of the film and then was surrounded by other people, everybody said, what are you doing with this asshole? You know, come away. And it was ultimately David Winters, who was, you know, famous Hollywood um, uh, choreographer who had been in the film version of uh, West Side Story as a dancer, okay, who, who got her away from her husband and tried to give her a different kind of life. So, you know, she, um, you know, our father you know, recognized this, but later when she joined forces with the um, anti-porn feminist movement, you know, that, that really used her and abused her. And she later said, worse than the people in porn had is that they had their own agenda. And it happened at a time in her career where, you know, in her life where she was making movies, she found herself in another abusive relationship that she was trying to get out of. And now here was Gloria Steinem and Andrea Dworkin. And so that really changed her narrative a little bit. And, um, you know, we're, our hearts go out to Linda because she had a rough go of it, but it was mostly at the hands of, you know, her husband or other abusers. And, you know, again, her experience on Deep Throat, even by her own account, was a positive one. 